ஹலோ ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் வெல்கம் டு மை சேனல் டுடே வி ஆர் டிஸ்கஸிங் அபவுட் ஹவ் டு ரிவ்யூ ஏ வெல் அ பெர்ஃபார்மன்ஸ் குவாலிஃபிகேஷன் ரெக்கார்ட் இன் அக்கார்டன்ஸ் வித் ஏஎஸ்எம்இ செக்ஷன் நைன் திஸ் இஸ் எ சாம்பிள் டெம்ப்ளேட் ஆஃப் வெல் அ பெர்ஃபார்மன்ஸ் குவாலிஃபிகேஷன் ரெக்கார்ட் ப்ரிப்பேர்ட் இன் அக்கார்டன்ஸ் வித் ஏஎஸ்எம்இ செக்ஷன் நைன் இட் ஹேஸ் த்ரீ பார்ட்ஸ் த ஃபர்ஸ்ட் பார்ட் இஸ் த ஜெனரல் ரெக்குயர்மெண்ட் அண்ட் த செகண்ட் பார்ட் இஸ் எ எசென்ஷியல் வேரியபிள் டேபிள் அண்ட் த தேர்ட் பார்ட் is the test results general requirement table consists of welder's name welder number wps number base metal welder electrode specification and electrode classification that means the variables other than essential variable is generally mentioned in this general requirement say the wps number is the welding procedure specification number the welder followed during his qualification Here the base material is SA516 grade 70 which is a plain material and a carbon steel material so it is described in ASME section 2A it's a ferrous material that's why it is described in ASME section 2A and the electrode specification SFA number is 5.1 here the electrode classification is C7018 which is a low hydrogen electrode that means its electrode specification is in sfa 5.1 which is given in asme section 2c here the thickness of the test coupon is 14 mm and we move down to the table essential variable the f- essential variable the list of essential variable for the welding process here the S- welding process is smaw is given in table qw353 shielded metal arc welding essential variable we can see a number of essential variables is given under brief of variables under table brief of variables for the first essential variable is deletion of backing which is associated with the joint the second essential variable is pipe diameter and the third is p number both are associated with the base metal and the fifth essential variable is f number 6 thickness of weld deposit which is associated with the filler metal seventh and eighth is eighth is position and vertical welding which is associated with position the first essential variable is the backing here the backing here the welder is qualified with backing and the range qualified is with backing only in order to obtain these details we have to move paragraph qw402.4 of asme section 9 we know that the backing is associated with joints which is in stated in paragraph qw402 and the deletion of backing measured in paragraph qw402.4 state that the deletion of backing in a single weld that means if a welder is qualified with the backing he is qualified to weld with the backing only that means he is not qualified to weld without backing or if a welder qualified without backing he is qualified to weld with or without backing which is given in this table that is backing here the welder is qualified with backing that means he is qualified with backing only if a, if the welder is qualified without backing then he is qualified to weld with or without backing then the second essential variable is the pipe diameter which is associated with the base metal and is given in statement a paragraph qw403 of asme section 9 bpvc code which state that a change in pipe diameter beyond the range qualification qualified in table qw452.3 which is not applicable here because the test is conducted on a plain material since sa516 grade 70 is a plain material this parameter is not applicable here the second essential variable associated with the base material is the p number the statement associated with the p number is given in qw403.18 of section 9 which state that a change in p number beyond to any other p number that is not listed in table qw423.1 requires requalification 
Here our material is SA516 grade 70 and its P number is 1. That is here our base metal is SA516 and its P number is 1 which is given in table QW422. Here you can see SA516 and its P number is mentioned as P number 1. In order to obtain the range qualified, we have to move to table 423.1. Here, the base metal used for performance qualification is P number 1. And base metal qualified is P number 1 through P number 15 of P number 34, P number 41 through P number 41. That means our welder is welded on a P number 1 material. His qualification is not limited to P number 1 material. His qualification is he can weld P number 1 through P number 15 of P number 34 and P number 41 through P number 49. He can weld all these P number materials. Then the variable, next variable is the filler metal. Essential variable is filler metal. Filler metal, F number is an essential variable. That means addition of change in F number is an essential variable. Which is associated with the paragraph QW404.15. We know that F number is associated with the filler metal. The statement state that a change in F number in table QW432 to any other F number except by table QW433. The F number for the welding rod or electrode is given in table QW432 of section 9. F number 1 is for iron powdered electrodes such as E7024, E7022. F number 2 is for rutile electrode such as 6012, 6013. F number 3 is for cellulose electrode is 6010, 6011. And F number 4 is our low hydrogen electrode such as 7019, 7016. Here we are using 7018 which is a low hydrogen electrode and its F number is 4. F number 5 is for stainless steel electrodes. F number 5 is for stainless steel electrodes. And the essential variable state that a change in F number in table QW432 to any other F number except permitted by QW433. Here our F number is 4, but our the welder qualification is not limited to F number 4. In order to obtain the details regarding that statement, we have to move down to table QW433, alternate F number for welder performance qualification. Here, the welder is qualified with the F number 4 with backing. That is qualified with F number 4 with backing. That, and the statement below is state that qualified for, that, be, that means our welder is qualified for F number 1 with backing, F number 2 with backing, F number 3 with backing and F number 4 with backing. Since his qualification is conducted with backing, he is not qualified to weld without backing. That means without backing, his deletion of backing is an essential variable as per the code. That is, deletion of backing is an essential variable. Then. The next essential variable associated with the filler metal is the weld deposited thickness, which is given in paragraph uh, QW404.330. State that a change in deposited weld metal thickness T beyond QW452. In order to obtain the details regarding weld metal deposit, we have to move to table QW452.1b, thickness of weld metal qualified. This has two options. The first option is all 
which qualified to 2T, 13 mm with over with a minimum of 3 layer, maximum to be welder. Here our welder is qualified to weld. Welded deposit thickness is 14 mm. He is qualified with 3 layers minimum. That means the option 2 is applicable here. So his qualification range is maximum to be welded. If he is qualified his 14 mm plate with a 2 layer then this statement is applicable. That means he is qualified to weld up to 2T. The next essential variable associated with is with position the next essential variable is position that is QW405 position that is addition of position is an essential variable addition of position here the qualification conducted in 4G position that qualifies the welder to weld in both plate and pipe we have to look into QW469.1 of SME section 9 in order to obtain these details which state that for plate the welder qualifies to weld in flat and overhead position since our qualification is conducted in 4G position our welder is qualified to weld in flat and overhead position for plate and pipe here which state that flat plate and pipe over 24 inch OD flat and overhead position. That means our welder is qualified to weld both the plates and the pipes over 24 inch OD in flat and overhead position. Pipe less than or equal to 24 inch OD flat position only and we have to look into note 3 for more details. Note 3 state that pipe 73 mm OD and over. That means our welder can only weld pipe 73 mm OD and over up to 610 mm OD in flat position only. More than 24 inch OD he can weld a flat and overhead position. That is the statement. Then which state which is given in this groove play groove here the welder is qualified in 4G position. Here the type of joint is a groove weld and plate and pipe over 610 mm OD. He is qualified to weld a flat overhead. Between 24 and 78, the welder is qualified to weld a flat position only. For fillet, he is qualified to weld a flat horizontal overhead only, which is given in this table flat horizontal. Fillet or tack of plate in flat horizontal overhead position. The next essential variable associated with is SMAW is change in progression or vertical welding. Here the qualification is conducted in 4G position. So the progression is not applicable here. That means pro pro progression is not applicable in 4G position. Okay, the next topic is the test re results. Test results. I will explain about this topic in the next class. Hope you guys enjoy this session. If you have any doubts, please mention it in the comment section. Thank you for watching. Thank you.